In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pelican M620 City Series Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I will do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. Today, we're going to be looking at a Pelican M620 from the City Series. Actually, we can look at two of them. I mean, they're essentially the same pen, just different materials here. This top one is the Chicago, and this bottom one here is the New York. Now, the City Series line was launched in 2001, and I believe it ended in 2006. And I think each year they released two pens. The New York and the Chicago that I have here were released in 2003. And these pens are called the M620 and they are based on the M600 so this pen is slightly bigger than an M400 and a bit smaller than M800. This size I think is the sweet spot for a lot of people. For me for Pelican I kind of go between this and the M800 for my favorites. Probably do prefer the 800 but this is a, a very very nice size that's going to be comfortable for a lot of people and they don't have as much metal components in the piston mechanism. So it's a lighter weight pen too than the M800, which is really nice. In terms of desirability, I believe the New York is pretty much the least liked, although it was the one that I liked the best first. The Piazza Nuvona one, I believe is the most desirable. It's like a, a beigey color. It's very, very beautiful and it's pretty hard to get. And it's, I think the most expensive in the series. Now when these were released, I believe you could buy these like street price in like the $250 range, maybe even a bit less than that. I think the retail was probably around $300. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. I had a little trouble finding out that specific information. Today, the value of these pens, it depends on the, the versions. We, you know, some are more rare, like the Piazza Nuvona. Now, I, I think they made the same amount. They're just, some are more desirable than others. The San Francisco, which I think is a pretty ugly pen, uh, <laughs> is also very desirable. Whereas this, I think, is on the lower end range. And these tend to go, I would say, between you know $370 to $500 is kind of where I see these. The Chicago is a little bit more expensive, but I think both of these, you know, you can get these in the $400 range without too much trouble. The New York is the easiest to buy. The Chicago is a little bit more rare. And the Chicago has more translucent material a lot of the city series had more translucent bodies so like you can see the the nib in there a bit and this will show off some of the ink a little bit the new york is pretty much solid you don't really get any translucency in the body of this pen let's walk through the pen starting at the the finial here we have the pelican logo in silver against black pelican feeding two chicks and I believe this is screen printed on there. It has a nice look to it. And then we have the standard, you know, Pelican clip here with the Pelican beak and the, the eyes there. And we have two trim rings, a small one, and then a large one, which says Pelican, Souverine, and Germany. And they never line those up for whatever reason, which I do kind of find annoying, but whatever. And then we have this material here with black, and it's sort of like a cool gray. I almost want to call it like primer gray. It's almost white, but there's a cool gray tinge to it. And then we have two trim rings on the piston knob here. These are piston fillers, and I believe they hold about 1.3 milliliters of ink, which is a nice volume of ink. It's a threaded cap, and we have a very nice black section here and it kind of starts fat and then tapers to the middle before flaring out and we have another trim ring in silver there and then the nibs on these pens were 18 karat gold this one is a broad it's a two-tone and we have again the pelican logo with two chicks very nice nibs these aren't particularly soft like some of the older m600 nibs but they are very nice writers and same thing here, this Cago one has a fine nib, but the section and everything is the same. Now, in terms of size, let's take a look here. We're looking at 131, 130, I would say 132 
long, uncapped, looking at about 122, and then posted, gets quite a bit longer, but these work great posted, they post securely, 153. Very comfortable, comfortable pen. You know, if I have to write for a really long time, posted, the M600 I think works better than the M800 for me. Take a look at the diameter here on the section, 10.6 at the widest, and right before it flares out, 9.8. And then on the body here, 12.6. So in terms of the weight, we're looking at 17.54 grams, which is really not heavy at all, and about 11.2 grams uncapped. So nice, very comfortable weight to these. Let's do some comparisons with some other pens. Here it is with a Pilot Tsumuji. Here it is with an Aurora Africa, which is actually quite a similar size, although these have bigger grip sections and bigger nibs and they're a little bit fatter but otherwise very similar size now here it is with a m800 or 805 rather you can just see a, a pretty decent difference in, in the size there and then here it is with a lummy vista now if we look at the nibs we can just see the size and grip section difference between these two here so just so you get a sense of how it's different than an M800. For the writing sample, I'm gonna be using a Papermind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. This notebook is excellent for fountain pens and for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Pelican M620, this is the Chicago, and this is a fine nib. The ink is the Papermind by Andorillium, Osiris Green. This is a new ink that I've been working on with Andorillium. I hope you guys will like it. It's a really nice green ink that's got a little bit of yellow in it. It's a really excellent ink. The Now this is a nice, I think, true fine. My experience with City Series pens are my first experience with the modern larger size M600 nibs. And my observation is that they are drier than the M800, the old smaller M600, and the M1000 nibs. Now it might just be the era that they're made in, but these, you know, early 2000s nibs, at least the M600 ones, write a little bit dry, even with the New York, which I have, which is a, a broad, they're a bit on the dry side, which I, to me is unusual for Pelican, because usually they're very wet nibs. Now, this ink has a really nice flow, so this feels really quite good. We can do some fast writing. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect performance. The broad nib on the New York that I have, it is slightly stubbish. That nib tends to skip a little bit. I'm probably gonna send that out to have some work done. It writes pretty nicely, you know, in normal writing environments, but you know, if you take the tip of the nib off the paper for a while, it'll definitely skip. So I think I need to have that adjusted, but it's a very nice nib. These nibs are also, I would say, quite firm. You can get a little bit of line variation if you push on them, but you know, some Pelican nibs are really soft. This just doesn't, this is quite a hard nib for a, a Pelican, and I would be careful about pushing on it too much. In terms of reverse writing, it's actually quite smooth, and we do get somewhat of a difference. It's not like a huge line difference, but it actually feels really good. It's definitely well finished. This is a really nice, true fine nib. I, I really like it. And I do really like this new color that I've come up with with Andorillium. So what are my pros and cons for the Pelican M620 City Series fountain pen? Well, I think the biggest pro here is the looks of these pens. Now, for me, for a long time, I had not been a huge Pelican fan, and it's partially because of the, the looks. 
they just kind of have a traditional look. I feel like these are the pens that an accountant would use. Now, I'm a CPA, so I can say that, but it just has a very, uh, I don't know, boring traditional appearance. I can't quite put my finger on it, because you could say that about a Mont Blanc too, but the Mont Blanc, I don't know, it doesn't have the, the Pelican clip, which is maybe a bit goofy. But anyway, in these more exciting colorways, I like these pens a, a lot more. And that's ultimately what drew me to the, the City series, is just that you're getting a Pelican in some different uh, materials that to me feel and, and make the pens look a little bit more modern. You know, these are very good quality pens. They're made in Germany. Piston filler, nice mechanism, very comfortable, good weight to them, nice size, very nice 18 karat gold nibs, pretty 18 karat gold nibs with the two-tone design. These are, are very nice everyday kind of pens. I, I really like these. And in terms of size in the Pelican lineup, my favorites are the 600 and the 800. I just think they work really well for my hand and I think are probably the best choice for most people. Now, in terms of cons, these pens are a bit more expensive because they were, you know, a limited run. I don't know how many of them they made. There isn't one for sale all the time, and they've gotten more expensive. You know, I would think for this and the Chicago series, you're looking in the four to five hundred dollar range, most likely. And some of the rare or more desirable colors, you know, go up quite a bit from there. So that is a, a, a big downside. They're a little bit harder to get, and they're more expensive. If you just wanted an M600, you know, I think you can easily get an M600 in the $200 range, maybe less. So you kind of have to really like the look of these. I do wish the nibs were a bit softer, but they are very nice writers, very good uh, to use as an everyday pen. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.